Some people aren't really happy about it, but at least it's going to feel well, like the season. At, at least it's Festivus and they can air their grievances yeah. about it, but uh, we, we got to get to it here. But let's take a look at temperatures right now as we are uh, starting to cool off after those near record high temperatures uh, that we had today. Uh, we're still looking at 70s and 80s across uh, the valley. We'll continue to cool tonight uh, down into the 40s, and that's as that cold front dives southward. Right now it's basically over San Antonio and will continue to dive southward over the next several hours here but still even by 10 o'clock tonight it's still going to be basically Corpus Christi uh, and then finally move through the valley late tonight we're looking about midnight one o'clock in the morning and right along the front you could see a few uh, light showers a very narrow band of showers so I'm not expecting a whole lot of rain but once the front moves through very windy conditions and cool temperatures tomorrow morning we're in the 40s and though it will be warming up into the low 60s with the winds around tomorrow we're expecting feels like temperatures in the 50s uh, tomorrow so tonight we get the cold front arriving late tonight 47 degrees uh, is the gonna we're gonna bottom out and then gusty conditions behind the, that front and that's why we do have a wind advisory this goes from 2 a.m. to noon time uh, basically Hidago, Willacy, and uh, Cameron County, though still Stark County, you're still looking at uh, gusty winds, just not quite as high uh, to issue the advisory, but it just shows you we are looking at very windy conditions across a large portion of the valley, and that means while it may be in the 40s to start the day tomorrow, it's going to feel like 37 in Lightford, 39 in Harlingen. You're going to want a jacket as you head out the door tomorrow and to go wherever you need to be, and we're going to continue to track those gusty conditions for you throughout the day tomorrow, and you add in the low humidity, just the overall dry conditions that we've been seeing in the valley and that means red flag conditions the entire valley are going to be wanting to avoid any outdoor burning that means all outdoor burning you should avoid uh, tomorrow and now where we top out in temperatures low 60s big difference in between where we were today where we we're close to 90 degrees in some spots almost 30 degrees cooler uh, tomorrow and to go along with those windy conditions again it's going to feel like in the 50s so not a beach day by any means though it will be sunny uh, looking at 60 degrees on south padre high rip current risk and high wave height so again not the ideal beach day by any means now the winds will die down overnight and what does that allow cold temperatures and santa's delivers presents we're looking at freezing temperatures possible across portions of the valley so festively cold night but uh, yeah not a fun night by any means to be outside 32 in harlingen 30 in, in raymondville 31 out in uh, rio grand city now we may not freezing in mcallen but still 37 degrees and normally this time of year we're at 49 so it's definitely going to be a cold night and because of those uh, threat for freezing temperatures we have a freeze watch a lot of that's in more rural communities but we could see freezing temperatures maybe two to four hours in time so you want to protect the sensitive plants and remember your space heater safety we don't want anybody to burn their house down on Christmas Day. Just not a fun thing to deal, have to deal with. So why are we looking at these cold temperatures? we got clear skies, weak winds, and low humidity overnight. And those three ingredients allow us to drop in those temperatures. Any heat from the day escapes out to space. So it's going to be kind of a little bit different here and there depending on where you live. But it's still going to be a cold night and a cold Christmas morning uh, starting the day in the 30s. So we'll warm up to about 68 degrees by the afternoon hour. So that's not bad. Uh, but you got to deal with those cold start in the morning. And then we'll continue to warm those temperatures up right around 80 degrees Sunday, Monday, Tuesday before that next front arise Tuesday into Wednesday.